have an origin of a disease such as a uh, cancer, such as breast. And when they do a, bi a biopsy and get a report, they will tell you breast cancer. When it becomes metastatic is when that cancer has left the home of the breast and now is transplanted somewhere else in the body. And uh, certain cancers such as breast cancer, typically the literature and, and the research um, says when breast cancer moves, it basically has two primary areas that, that we're concerned with. And typically that is the bone and the brain, but that's not exclusive to those areas. You know, and, and, and just to kind of, I guess, give a broad picture, you know, we do have circulating tumor cells in our body um, and you hear the immune system and immunology, which is the study of the immune system. And basically you have T cells or cells that kind of go around and find pretty much anything that's foreign to the body or cancers, bacteria, those types of things. And so a lot of times we do have metastatic cells that are going in through our body because of tumor cells, they're generating these populations of abnormal cells. And so that's what cancer is, an abnormal cell. And so sometimes what happens is these abnormal cancer cells are able to survive on their own. And, and we kind of generally think that they're in the case of breast cancer, these cells are coming from the breast origin, and then they travel. And most of the time they go through the lymph nodes, which is uh, an area of deposit that, you know, your body gets rid of um, different types of things. But also your blood is another way that cancer cells can travel. And so what happens is these cells leave that origin, and then they deposit, you know, as, you know just, just as you said, in the, in the bone. Or, or in the spinal cord or the brain, you know, and, and so then that's when we call metastatic disease. And so it just means that it went from point A to somewhere else in the body, and now it's clinically detected or radiographically detected. And so just kind of going into a little bit more detail, you can always have oligometastatic disease, which is a very small amount of disease. You can have like one or two areas in the body that are detected we treat those a little bit more aggressively. And then you can have multi-focal um, disease, which is systemic or, you know, when it spreads in multiple areas and you see multiple lesions. And they typically don't treat that as aggressive with local types of treatments like surgery or radiation, but we do, you know, continue to do things like chemotherapy and systemic therapy. So just metastatic disease, again, overall, just means that, you know, it went from point A and now it's, at point B in some other organ or, or, or uh, system in the body.